So, uh, welcome to Eco Equilibrium uh, Renewable Biomass Briquette Enterprise. I am Douglas Manyoni. I'm the coordinator of the briquette, briquetting activities here. With me, I have Jack Mwanje and Lillian Mahati, our auxiliary staff members who are really helping us in production of the briquette. So, I'm going to take you through what we are doing in our background and uh, be able to appreciate our briquette making activities in our goal to achieve uh, reduction of tree cutting and forest destruction around. Thank you and you're welcome. So uh, I'm gonna take you through what we do here in terms of the briquette making process whereby we, we do the drying, carbonization and the production of the briquettes before we dry them for sale. So we can work together as we do we see what we do and appreciate what we are doing. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, we obtain our rubber gas, which is normally weight from the sugarcane factories around, as I said. And uh, we, we bring and deliver them in this store here. Yeah, this is the mountain we have at the moment. Though we need to do some more delivery soon. So, from here, we have some guys who help us with some of the manual work we do. We have Jack and Lillian who help us in other manual activities concerning the preparation of the, or the drying of the bagasse and other activities related to the briquette production. So we have our rubber gas here, it is quite wet, so we pour it on this black polythene bag for dry. So from, from here on the polythene bag that we have here, the bagasse dries based on the prevailing weather conditions. It dries for a period of uh, like four days. It is just sun dried. We get uh, like 60%, we get rid of about 60% of the moisture. Then the bagasse will be ready to be carbonized. So from here, we have our dry bagasse now. That is after it is readily dry. And we take it to our to our dry bagasse store, which is right here. Right now we have some amount of dry bagasse. Some is on the floor, and uh, another amount is in the in the sacks. Yeah. So from here, the bagasse is ready to be poured into the kilns. As we'll be going through, we'll be able to see that. It is in the kiln that the bagasse is now carb uh, carbonized into some black residue, which we refer to as carbonized bagasse. So, uh, from the dry bagasse store, we carry our bagasse after weighing and uh, knowing how, how many kilos it weighs, because one kiln has different amounts of uh, dry bagasse that it consumes at a time. So from here we pour it into, into our kiln chambers, yeah, it's poured in the kiln chambers for carbonization to, to take less before we do the harvest of the carbonized bagasse. So these are, our, these are our kiln chambers, they have the chimney and all that, yeah. From here the bagasse will take some time before we have the carbonized bagasse now, ready for production the other end. We uh, currently have three carbonization chambers or the kilns. This being one of them. Currently carbonization is ongoing in the two. This one and the other one on the, on the far end. This one we are now preparing to start carbonization. So uh, the product of this process of carbonization is this uh, black residue. This is now the carbonized bagasse that will end up giving us uh, briquettes. 
Yeah. So from here, we are going to go straight to the briquette production area and see what happens at the point. Area that we have seen so far, we carry our carbonized bagasse, then we bring it here. This is the mixing area where we do some blending or uh, yeah, we mix with uh, some binder. We have uh, cassava flour together with uh, some molasses, which uh, we actually use as our, our binder to, to, to make the briquettes kind of sticky. Yeah. So what we are doing is that we are trying to, to mix the carbonized burgers. Yeah. So once it is properly mixed, we now head to the production area where we have our pressure machine. Yeah, so uh, fro from the mixing area, we are now in the production area. This is where all the, the, the whole process of production is done. This is our machine, this is a briquette making machine. It has been modified based on what we want to, to get. That is the shape and the size of the briquette. Yeah. So from here I think we can start our production process. From the production area, now have our briquettes ready for drying. Just the briquettes. So uh, we air them on our rack, briquette rack. This is a briquette rack. So as you can see, we have uh, a good amount of briquettes that will be drying in the next few days for for sale. So. I believe we can appreciate this and uh, help in conservation of the trees and forests. Thank you.